Hello, uh, Randy Brown here with Extreme Hog Hunter Magazine. You know, as y'all seen yesterday, we was out, me and Ian went out and done a little bass fishing and we caught a nice, a nice mess of largemouth bass. And uh, Ian asked me to get with, uh, uh, come on here and just, just show you how, how to fillet a fish and how to get it pre uh, prepped for, for cooking and, and, and eating your harvest. Uh, here we have some, they're not extremely large, large bass, but they are a, a large mouth bass that, that come out of our lake here at Enon. But it's very important to manage your pond. So a lot of people say, man, them little fish, throw them back. Well, well the pond can get overpopulated. So you really have to manage your lake just like a deer hunter manages his property. So we'd like to take under 15 inches and under out. So the large ones will have more, more room to grow. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through step by step, show you how to fillet these fish. And then uh, we'll get them good and seasoned up and tomorrow maybe we'll show you how to cook them and how to enjoy, the, how to enjoy your meal. What you, want, what you want to do is just come in right behind the gill plate there. Don't press down real hard, just let your knife do all the work for you. And as uh, you see, it, it's, it's, it's an electric knife, so it's going to go pretty easy. But when you hit your bones, it's going to want to stop. So once you hit your, once you hit your backbone of the, of, the, of the fish, you just want to just keep your knife running at the same time and roll, roll the blade up with a, keep you just a constant pressure on it. Just kind of work it side by side. Keep it pressed up against the rib cage and the backbone. And you're gonna cut right through that. Right through them ribs and just, if it won't go, don't force it. Just work your blade and let, let the blade do its work. And when you get down in this, this, this area here, you don't wanna just cut all the way through. You wanna leave the skin on there. So when you get right here, you can see I stop. You just, you can just roll this over and let it, let it fall. And then grab your fish Grab your fish by his head and just go down to that skin and let it work. Just let it work slow and pull, pull slightly, let the knife do the work. Don't really, don't force it real hard. And as you can see, there's no meat on the skin and there's nothing but filet here. So once you got that, to get it completely boneless, this, this is your rib cage here. So all this will be boneless. So what you'll do then is just come down below your bones where your ribs stop, cut in there, turn your knife at a little angle to just follow, follow the rib case through like this. And just simply just work that off like that. Some people leave it, some people don't. I like to take it off because you have a completely boneless, free, bone-free piece of fish there. This you can just discard it and what you do then is just flip him over, start over. Come in right behind the gill plate, work it in to it hits the ribs, come down through, let it, hit the, let it hit the backbone and just let it ride right down that backbone, working that blade, working that blade side to side, up and down, just let it eat its way through. Don't force it, just let the knife do the work. Get to the end of the tail, leave it attached, roll it over, same principle, grab the head, let it touch the skin and roll, lay that blade down flat on the, against the skin and let it, do its, let it do its job. Then you just wanna come in behind the ribs. Slightly move, slightly, just slice that rib cage off. There's not much meat there. You can eat it if you like, but mostly bones. And there you have it. All our nice catch is cleaned. A lot of nice boneless fillets here. Wonderful, wonderful eating largemouth bass. All right, as you have you been with us through this whole thing, you know we caught some caught some nice bass here at Enon, and I went over with you, showed you how to fillet them out. So now our next step is the most important: feed the belly. So what we've done, we've just got some regular fish batter here. We've got our fish fillets here, we're all washed up. We've had them sitting in water all day. So we got them out and washed them up a little bit. Bought us some, some nice fish batter there from the store, just your preference, whatever kind you like. We've got our grease good and hot, just over here. So what you're gonna do is just drop that, drop that fillet down in that batter. Roll it over a couple bit, couple little bit there, a couple times. Get you a good coating of seasoning on there. Batter. Just drop it in the grease. Now it don't take long. You don't want to cook these things very long. Uh, rule of thumb is 
when the flay is floating, the fish is done. What we do, we got a, we got half of them there, just regular, just in the regular batter well. Some of it's like a little spice, so what we're gonna do, got some little Cajun season there. We're gonna drop some of that Cajun season down in there. Get it, mix that up. Have it kind of like two, two different flavors, you know, for the ones that like spicy and the ones who don't. And there you go. Fresh fried Enon filleted bass. And that is your redneck kitchen tip of the day. Yeah, second. Get some fish in. That's it. Let's see what your taste this, test. This feels heavy. This must be one I caught. Uh, nah. Not happening. No, How you like that, brother? No, not, not too bad, bad for old country boy, is it? I think it's a skill of which it was pulled out of the water. Yeah, that could have something to do this with it. This is an expertly caught fish. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Let's do that.